I'm on a quest to obtain every best in slot item in old school RuneScape on a fresh hardcore Iron Man. And if that wasn't hard enough, I have some other items I want to achieve. You know, some real simple things like a max cape, a trimmed quest cape, which also means I need to get the diary cape, and a matching outfit for all 23 skill capes. This is Drip Quest. At the end of last episode, we got spooned with our first pet on the account, the Phoenix. So it's safe to say my addiction levels are currently through the roof, but as nice as it would be to spend another 10 days here at Wintertot, it's finally time to continue progressing the account. Obviously, we have to go pick up the fire making cape, which is located somewhere around here. But first, let's clean as many of these herbs as possible in case any more XP randoms feel like showing up. And that's all the herbs I can clean for now. Let's go get our fire making cape. I would like to get scammed for 99k, please. Nah, but seriously, although the fire making cape is one of the more useless ones, serving as basically a glorified candle, I will see some use out of it as a defensive cape, and it is the last piece of drip for the fire making outfit. Not counting the Tome of Fire, which I did get, but I just can't wield yet. But that officially completes one out of 23 skills on the account which feels absolutely great to achieve. It is now time to go on a bit of a shopping spree and get a whole bunch of quest progress while I figure out where exactly I'm going next. That is a very nice pair of beekeepers boots acquired. I'm not particularly going for all the random events due to how rare the stale baguette is, but it's nice to get. I know I already bought feathers earlier, but at some point I do plan on barbarian fishing, so I'm just gonna get way more than I need while I have the extra cash. Red berry pie cooked first try, too easy. And while I'm next door, I'm just going to buy a load of runes. That is the client of Corinne the quest completed. And of course, both these XP lamps are going straight in the herb lore, which brings me up to level 17. That red berry pie is for my beloved Thurgo, of course. Well, I mean, it's for the Knight Sword quest, but everybody loves Thurgo, right? Starting the Queen of Thieves quest. Quick detour to plow for an eternity for the favor. I accidentally aggroed this bat, but that's level 10 and 11 magic, along with 8 combat and this giant bat wing for rag and bowman. Back to the plow. Turning all my winter tot sulfur into fertilizer for the favor, and just hit 6 farming along with toad level 425 on the account. Honestly, getting Hosidius favor isn't anywhere near as bad as I remembered. Level 30 thieving, 40 thieving. That is the pirate's treasure quest completed. The treasure itself is garbage, but we want those sweet, sweet quest points. Starting one of the easiest quests in the game, and within the same dialog box, that is Doric's quest completed. One more quest point and level 12 mining. Very nice. Also starting the Below Ice Mountain quest while I'm in the area. And that is Goblin Diplomacy completed. An extremely easy 5 quest points and level 12 crafting. Since I've basically completed Winter Shot in this account, I can finally level up my hit points. So let's do the Witch's House. No way I just did that. Alright, we've made it to the sketchy part of this quest. Let's see if I even remember how to safe spot these. That is the first mob in the safe spot. Please just get into the fucking corner, dude. Uh oh. Oh my god, that was fucking awful. I actually almost lost my account to Witch's House. <laughs> nah, dude. Thankfully, these last two mobs are way easier to save spot than that. Mob number three. And mob number four. That is the last mob killed. Let's get this boy his balls back. Quest completed. That brought our HP from level 10 all the way up to level 24. Very nice to have on a hardcore. Starting the fishing contest. And while I'm in the area, I wanted to buy some Eye of Newt packs so I can turn all my guams into attack potions. That's level 22 herblore. And I am all out of usable materials once again. That is the Knight Sword quest completed which gets us all the way to level 29 smithing. Finally completed the Restless Ghost quest, 1125 juicy prayer experience, and level 13 prayer. Starting the feud quest, that is the sleeping giants quest complete, 
that gets us level 33 smithing and access to the Giant's Foundry minigame, which I will be more than likely returning to at some point in the near future. I forgot to record actually starting the quest, but I'm going to quickly complete the tourist trap, and of course I'll be destroying the mercenary captain with this cheeky little safe spot. That is the tourist trap completed, and of course I'll be taking the free XP out agility, which brings us all the way up to level 26. Very nice. The skill took so long that I got three entire magic levels and burnt through like 400 runes, but that's level 19 magic and 17 combat. And that is the feud quest completed. A whopping 15,000 thieving experience, getting us all the way to level 45, and we can now blackjack bandits for some very decent XP per hour. And speaking of blackjacking, I might as well just bash this guy's head in and rob him for a little bit. Okay, it is very, very scary to mess this up with only 25 hit points. I'm... maybe I'm just garbage, to be honest. Level 50 thieving. I now have the level to go get the rogue's outfit, so I think I'm gonna quit blackjacking for now. And that is the observatory quest complete. Two more quest points and level 19 crafting. Starting Merlin's Crystal. That is the fishing contest quest completed, which brings us all the way to level 27 fishing. Also decided to complete the murder mystery quest while I was here, and that's level 21 crafting. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I want to go barbarian fishing, so I'm just going to sit here and fly fish for, I don't know, until I get bored. Level 30 fishing. I can now catch salmon, so that should speed this up quite a bit. Level 34 fishing is a very important milestone. I can now wear the angler's outfit, which of course I'll be going to get very soon. Level 35 fishing. I can now fight Temporos, which I'm actually going to try just for a change of pace. Starting the Prince Alley Rescue, I stopped by the Shooting Star along the way and got level 15 mining. I actually kind of like these as an AFK activity, so maybe I'll power mine some iron or do these a little bit more often. Made it to Temporos. To be honest, I've never even done this boss before, but unlike the winter type, I shouldn't be here for that long. First Casey and I literally forgot to grab a harpoon, it's not looking too good. That is level 39 fishing, but more importantly, a total level of 575. Level 40 fishing. I can now go catch lobsters with all the free-to-play bots if I wanted to. And after about an hour of failing, I finally managed to solo Temporos and complete the Y Cook hard combat task. Level 48 fishing. I now have the level required to start barbarian fishing, but I'm going to stay here for just a little while longer. Level 30 cooking. Level 50 fishing. Now that I have level 50 fishing, I'm going to open up these 88 reward permits I have saved up. In case you're wondering why I wait until level 50, it's because with the added swordfish, the raw fish table isn't complete dog shit. And our first collection lock from Temporos is of course the Spirit Flakes. And that is the last reward. Unfortunately, nothing really stand out here other than the casket, which gives us an easy clue and a tooth half of a key. Not terrible. Doing the two clue scrolls I have, but really quickly stopping by Nermoff to grab my new best in slot pickaxe for probably the next eternity. After a very long walk across the map, I got the casket. I'm just gonna rip these open. Black Kite Shield G, which is very cool. And nothing. Not bad, I guess. And I can't even wear it. Quickly just grinded out level 20 mining for the shooting stars I come across. It was really annoying only being able to mine tier 1 stars. Speaking of stars, I'm waiting for another one, but that is level 22 mining and total level of 600 achieved on the account. Level 26 mining. Was it worth spending 20 minutes just to mine this star? I don't know, but I did. And I'm sure this video is all over the place at this point, but I decided to just go ahead and get our full angler's outfit. Catch number 6, and that is our first piece of the angler outfit. I gotta say, fishing trawler isn't that bad. It's just so boring with all the AFK. Catch number 12, and we get the angler's hat. Catch number 14, and we got spoon with the angler top. Honestly, just give me the last piece so I can get the fuck out of here. That is the angler boots at catch number 20. Absolutely spoon, but I'll take it because this place fucking sucks. I changed my mind. I hate it. Oh, and here's the rune light log for fishing trawler in case you wanted to see the loot. And of course, for fashion purposes, I want to eventually get the full Spirit Angler set, but for now, that is the headband. Here's another 19 permits to open, and nothing good yet again. Nine more permits, really hoping to get the fishing barrel before I have to leave here. And some more garbage. Another 10 permits, and not that I could even complain at this point. 
it's more garbage. Level 55 fishing, another 15 permits worth of disappointment. Level 56 fishing, for now I think that's good enough and I'm just gonna stop. And the last 11 permits for quite some time. And of course, to be expected, it's some more garbage. Quickly running over to the mage training arena to buy some cosmic runes so I can make the game's necklace. And before I start fishing again, I'm gonna start a few more quests. First up is the waterfall quest and the dwarf cannon quest. Also starting the fight arena quest. This should be relatively safe and that's quest complete. In total, I got 23 magic, 19 combat and level 29 attack. Starting the tree gnome village quest while I was getting the pebble. And that's another easily cheesable quest boss. That is the Tree Gnome Village quest complete, which brings us all the way to level 35 attack. Very, very juicy. Starting the Grand Tree quest. That is the Waterfall quest completed. That brings us all the way up to level 30 strength, 40 attack, and combat level 31. Huge gains. Level 30 magic. I was just trying to get Spoonder in Sim real quick, but it's not working out so well. Alright, we have made a ton of progress in this episode, and I think this is a decent ending point. In the next episode, it is finally time to start the Barbarian Fishing. I'm not planning on doing anything crazy and sitting here until 99 so quickly after doing Winter Tot. I mainly want to just get around 40 agility so I can grind out full Graceful. Graceful will not only be extremely beneficial with all the running around I have to do, but eventually, depending on how the new Graceful recolor looks, I might just get the speedrunning Graceful as part of the quest cape drip, but I'm not quite sure yet. Alright, I rambled enough. If you're still here, subscribe or something. Bye!